Welcome back to part two of the grand cycle of life. Today we are going to be discussing how Mercury transcends through time and finishes off the bottom part of the zodiac wheel or the objective growth of the life cycle. The bottom half deals with our outwardly influences and the planets and the luminaries that are closest to Earth. Let me show you a description. So for the example of the wheel cycle, the big one is going to be our zodiac wheel and the small one is going to be our life cycle wheel and how the two correlate. Now for your small one, the life cycle, we have both the objective growth on the bottom and subjective growth on top. The objective growth is going to be dealing with these planets down here from Aries down into Virgo and how that we have the manifestation of spring, nurturing, growing, and then creating the magic, the elixir of life. When we get to part three, we'll be dealing with the subjective growth, which goes with the more inward planets and how we deal with things more inwardly with our personalities and how as evolution goes, we become deeper souls and people. So now, without further ado, here is part two, Summer, the Elixir of Life. As Mercury, the messenger of time, delves deep into thought, he connects with the luminary entities in our universe's sphere. As he touches down in time, he is overshadowed by the transmute energy of life and magic. Watching the celebration of the moon, sun, and birth of the solstice, the oscillation of life begins with inherent emotional power and the knowledge that with light we are able to see into the deepest and darkest places of self. As Mercury awakens the bringers of light, he will not just imbue life and magic, but he will transform his Mercury-based mind into self-discipline and awaken the portal to our spiritual-based selves. Birthing from thought, cancer is the embodiment of deep feelings and personal emotions. As the luminary moon is their ruler, their essence is to draw in the traditions of time and to bring into existence the secrets yet to be told. They are the beginning stages of magic and as their emotions wax and wane into our life cycle, they birth the comfort of home and security. As they build toward personal understanding of life, it is vital for them to create private bonds and friendships. As these bonds strengthen through the wheel cycle, so does their persuasive aura leading into oscillation. Cancer is the pendulum and the magic inside the chrysalis that creates the elixir. As the chrysalis is brought to shore, it is levitated into the beams that radiate the sun. Fixed in fire, their mastery of light imbued with the deep emotions of the moon shines with an expression of passion that wishes to translate the source of power. As natural born leaders, the spirit of home and security is exalted into a personal kingdom where they imbue the spirit of honor, enjoyment, and satisfaction. Leo radiates the embers of the fires inside them 
while maintaining position of their ivory tower. For they know that generosity of spirit, ambition, and courage will create the system builders of the wheel. They are the star that birthed alchemy for mankind. As the embers of the sun hit the earth, we are watching the creation of Mercury rebirth. With an analytical mindset, their gift is to not just understand how the creation of time began, but how to clearly speak that story into existence. Bestowed as the messenger, Virgo is the Pied Piper of the Zodiac. Acts of service and having a discerning nature, their inner world is full of speculation and problem solving. With the embodiment of objective growth inside their fibers, they are the enigma of this wheel phase and they are the birth of the verb definition of love. She is dancing away from you now. She was just a wish. She was just.